Okay, so <clears throat> I believe some of you have had um, some trouble with the three media math questions on the um, planning, at the end of the planning lecture. So I wanted to um, go over those and um, kind of just not just give you the answers, but sort of show you some of the concepts involved. The first thing is um, your book um, actually is pretty effective in that area. It's chapter 8 in the textbook. So for those of you who have the book, um, you can review that. And there's even a separate section on print and magazines that talks about implications. It also talks about mixing media and cumul doing cumulative reach and frequency and things like that. <clears throat> That'll give you, I think, a really good understanding of, of the issues involved. Uh, these are the three questions. Um, I buy, looks like I misspelled that, eh? Sorry about that. I buy a half-page four-color ad in a magazine with a circulation of 760,000 for one month. How many impressions do I get? Okay, I also run uh, another half page four color ad in another magazine with a circulation of 320,000. 30% of the subscribers to this magazine also subscribe to the first magazine in question one. The total audience I want to reach is 5 million people. What is my total reach for buying the two magazines? So, what you have to do here is um, calculate the um, the total unduplicated, you know, unique circulation for the two magazines. And then to get reach, you have to um, calculate what percent that total unduplicated circulation is of the uh, amount of the target. Okay. And then for the frequency question, um, I always like to do visuals of things. I would draw one circle for to show the circulation of the first magazine, which would be a bigger circle, then a smaller circle for the second magazine, and then there's some overlap between the two magazines. And in fact, that's sort of the best way to visualize um, this whole problem is to kind of start by doing that and then thinking about thinking about things based on that. But that's the first step is to draw those two circles. So now I'm going to talk about um, some of these issues. So we're going to go back to <clears throat> something we have talked about, I think, pretty much all through the course. This particular chart was introduced, I think, in the first lecture. And we're just going to go over some definitions. So you remember an impression is one person seeing one ad one time. Reach is always a percentage. It's the unduplicated people who have seen your ad over a certain time period normally. Frequency is the average number of times each person has seen the ad over a four-week period. Now some people on an individual basis will maybe seen it ten times. Some people may have seen it one time, but your average frequency maybe is four. Who knows? Okay, so different people will have different frequency, different times of seeing the ad, but the average is what you're looking for typically. Effective frequency is the number of times. Actually, we don't need to talk about that. It's there, but it's not involved in this question. Um, GRPs, uh, I don't think is involved in the question, but it's basically what you do is you take your reach, your reach is a percentage, and you just remove the percentage figure, okay, and take the reach as a whole number, not as a fraction and multiply it by your average frequency and that gives you your total gross rating points. TRPs are the same as gross rating points but it's expressed <coughs> as <coughs> against your target. Circulation um, is in these questions. This is how many people actually for circulation. Um, you have subscribers and you have uh, pass along readership as well. Um, and uh, 
So that's what's used for circulation. Ratings aren't going to come up in these questions, but we do. I'm, I'm going to talk about it just a little bit uh, in this little review this morning. Um, ratings, you remember, we dug into radio ratings from Nielsen. We dug into radio, uh, TV ratings. You know, so a program is measured, uh, the people who wear the people meters, you know, are tuned in. Um, and uh, so, uh, and it's a certain number of people per city, right? So it's a large sample size and some basic important demographic groups. There's large enough sample sizes of them too in each of these cities. And then, um, what Nielsen does is they take the total population of the uh, of the um, market area that they've prescribed um, the DMI, and um, they if uh, you know a million people watched a program and the total DMI is seven million, then one over seven. So you know that's your rating so whatever that is 12 something rating so the rating is almost like a reach really it's the percent of the total audience that viewed the program um, internet uses visitors to the website and they particularly interested in unique visitors so so how many individual people are coming to my site you know, how many people am i reaching at least once Okay, and you know that CPM is the cost to reach every thousand consumers. So, um, now impressions, we've talked a lot about impressions this term, maybe our most important topic, because you recall that we talk a lot about quality of impression in terms of a uh, 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 big part of the explanation as to why some media cost more to be in. They don't cost more because they reach more people. They cost more because the because it's a CPM. It's cost per thousand people reached, so that's an equalizer there. Um, so the reason out of home media tend to be very inexpensive in terms of what it costs to reach one thousand people is it's a short impression, typically, particularly if it's on a on a roadway or a highway. Right, you drive by it quickly. So we, this is what we went through this year, but. When you boil it right down as to what an impression is, um, one person seeing one ad one time, and so when you dig in, what does it mean to see or to be exposed to the ad? Well, and how is it actually counted? Okay, this is what we're getting at. We get at the real measurement. So how do these measuring bodies, the you know the uh, um, Geopath measures for out of home, you remember, right? Nielsen measures for TV. It used to be the Audited, Audited Bureau of Circulation for print, but they've got a new name now that I can't even remember. How do the bodies that are responsible for measuring impressions for advertisers, so the advertiser can get a sense of what they're getting, how do they do it? Okay. And this is the area that you guys, I want you guys to think about and be, be hypercritical because someday you'll be spending your own budgets on these things, you know, probably not too long from now. You'll be responsible for delivering results for those dollars. And you don't want to buy into a bunch of BS numbers. You want to really have a good realistic idea of what you're getting. Uh -uh. Okay, so basically it's measured by, it's the number of people who might, might have had the opportunity to be exposed to a story that has appeared in the media. They're an opportunity to see. In reality, I'm wearing my people meter and I'm in the kitchen making a peanut butter sandwich while the ad's on during that 15 minute block. But the people meter says I was there, okay? That's for TV and, and radio. Or, I, or I'm, um, I'm, I'm you know, doing five different things at once. I'm not even listening or watching the TV ad because I'm looking up uh, you know, I'm looking up Wiki um, on one of the actors in the program. <laughs> I'm not paying attention what's to the ad, right? Okay, opportunity to see. Okay, and so the issue here is, you know, what is a print opportunity to see? Now, the other issue, in addition to kind of figuring out 
um, reach and impressions from those questions is is we end up buying two magazines, right? And then we have to see what happens cumulatively when we when we buy more than one medium. What's it going to do to the whole plan? What does the plan achieve? Okay, in terms of reach and frequency and GRPs. And remember, most media plans have lots of different media in them, and uh, those calculations are not normally done by hand. They're done by sophisticated computer, computer algorithms, often taking advantage of proprietary research. Um, so, but you should still understand the principles of it. Okay, how do different media types work together? Now this I lifted from your book. Uh, I know you can't see all of it. I'm just trying to get my cursor here. Now where the heck is the gosh? There it is. All right, let me see if I can stretch this down a little bit. Maybe, maybe. Well, let's see. I think I can at least move it down here. Okay. So in your book, this is exactly the problem that you guys have. And it's and it was a slide too. It was in a power. It was in the in the planning PowerPoint, and I took it right from the book. So this is about someone who's bought Time Magazine and People Magazine. Um, you've got um, um, ten percent. I guess it's a reach with Time. I'm just trying to remember. And fifteen percent reach of your audience of people, but 6% of the people, of, of the readers of people also read time. Okay. So this is the problem you have. How do you figure out what your unduplicated reach is? Well, it's 10 plus 15 minus 6, isn't it, everybody? Which the last time I looked is 19%. So, and then down here, and this is the answer to your question, guys, even though I have a little more to cover. Uh, nevertheless, this is the answer to, your, to the question. Um, so, I've got several groups here. What have I got? I've got um, how many people never see the ad at all? 81%. 19% see the ad at least once. Right? 10 plus 15 minus 6. So 81% of the target audience has a zero frequency. Um, is this still even going? Gosh, I hope. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. Um, now, how many see it one time? Um, they've got 13. I don't know if that is that right. 10 plus 15 minus 6 is 19. I think the answer there is 19. I think she put the wrong number. I'm really sorry, guys. How about that? The book is wrong. 19% then see it once. Oh, I, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. 19% see it once. It's 19 minus 6 that see it twice. So 19% see it at least once. 6% see it twice, so 19 minus 6 see it once, so she's right after all, and should know it, and then, that's the frequency, and then the 6% in the middle, they get both magazines, I see time, I see the same ad in people, I saw it twice, that's a two frequency. Guys, yeah, okay. Now let's see if I can move this thing along. That's really pretty much all I should even be doing with you guys. Let's see here. Now let's see if I can move this. Cover a little bit more of this here thing. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Opportunity to see. <coughs> this is a question on your TV exam. I think it was on the first TV exam quiz. There were two quizzes. This talks about um, what you do with ratings.